dear brothers and sisters, I thank you very much, Father Mel, for inviting me to speak to uh, his parishioners. I'm Father Diego Cano, I'm from Argentina, <coughs> but I'm currently a missionary in a small village in Tanzania, in East Africa. I have been a missionary in Tanzania for 12 years. I'm a religio religious of the Institute of the Incarnate World, the same congregation as the daughters of Nick Clemens. He's there with the camera. And also, uh, some of you may remember Sister Blessed Sacrament, who has come from the Mission Appeal the last the past two years to this parish. We are together with the sisters in the same mission and I'm the parish priest and the superior of the mission. I want to tell you a little about our mission. Our mission is a place far from the city, two hours away on a very bad road. We have 43 villages, 43 little chapels to assist, to visit. We also have two primary schools on the mission, a small hospital, a house of mercy for children with disabilities, and we are also building now, at the moment, a primary school and a high school. The missionary priest must visit the village in order to carry out the sacrament, especially the Confession and the Eucharist. There are villages that we can visit only two or three times a year. In many of these villages, our Christians do not have a church and they gather to pray under a tree. But mainly I have come here for two things. First, to thank you. For since 2015, you, this parish, the parishioners, the Knights of Columbus, have helped and helped a lot our mission, especially our schools. I had never come to the United States before. It's my first time to visit the United States. And I want to come personally, personally here to thank you, because uh, many years you help us, you support our mission since 2015. And I came here after nine years to say you thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. We remember you in our prayers each day. Second thing I came here to tell you how our main project is progressing. Our main project now is the high school, the construction of the high school of St. Thomas Aquinas. This is a very important project because we are in a very poor area. Many children do not study in primary school. Many of them are only shepherds. Of those, who finish the primary school, almost the 70%, do not continue studying, only finish the primary school. There are very few government secondary schools. It's a very important that we can build this school to give many young people the possibility to study, to continue studying in the high school and they can have a Catholic education, a good formation, because in the government secondaries that not a good formation. We are still working and we hope to have everything ready to start the, this high school, uh, St. Thomas Aquinas High School, in 2026, in January 2026. I appreciate very much what you do for the missionaries and the missions. Thank you for your prayers 
and your donations. Thank you for helping us. Uh, and I say that we pray every day for our donors. Many times with the children in the summer camps, I, I tell them after the mass to pray one our father for our donors, for our benefactors. And they pray, really. And they pray for you. And they, their prayers arrive to God uh, and to, to his heart. For this, I, I think that uh, really we, we remember you in our prayers. Thank you for helping us. May the Virgin Mary bless and protect you all. God bless you.